Women might not openly say they want to sleep with you. Women can be complex, and just as you think you understand them, they might surprise you. Here are a few signs a married woman wants to sleep with you. If you ask to meet up, and she has plans with her husband that night, she'll cancel what she's got going on with her husband to see you. And she won't shy away from telling you that's what she's doing either. In this way, she's sending you a direct message that she would rather spend all her time with you than with her husband. Your lady friend compliments you because not only does she want you to feel special, but she hopes that you'll compliment her back. If she's not the bold type, she'll start by complimenting your sexy outfits and asking where you got a certain shirt and tie from because she wants to buy one for her son. She'll then move on to telling you how good you smell. Again, she'll give the excuse that she wants to buy the same aftershave for her friend. Finally, when she feels really brave, she'll compliment your looks by telling you you're handsome or that you've got a good, strong body. By telling dirty jokes, your married female friend tests the waters to see if you'll follow her down the road she's taking you on. If you laugh along with her, she'll hope she's in with a chance. She'll also be observing you to see how comfortable you are with her mentioning sex in a joke. If you squirm or change the subject, she'll probably back off and think of another plan. But if you engage with her, she'll take it to the next level. Women wearing revealing clothes is no big deal. In most cases, they dress that way to make themselves feel good and not to impress men. But they know what to do with all those goodies when it's time to flirt. Does she wear low-cut tops and lean forward in front of you to give you a good view? How about a short skirt and bending over to pick something off the ground accidentally on purpose? She knows full well that men go wild when women expose their intimate places in front of them, and she's hoping she'll have that effect on you. If you're a family friend and come over to the house often, you might turn up one day and her husband isn't home. So she takes full advantage of the situation and asks if you can fix a light in her bedroom. Before you can say, can't your husband do it? She's already said, I've been asking Dave, her husband, to do it for weeks now, and he hasn't done it. So when you get upstairs, she lies seductively on the bed while she watches you fix the light, hoping you'll get the hint and fix her after. Unbuttoning her blouse is her way of letting you know that she wants you to undress her. Wherever you are could be as cold as ice, so she's not unbuttoning her shirt because she's warm. Instead, she is sending you a direct message about what she wants from you. Although she doesn't really care if you've got a partner, she asks questions about your love life because she wants to know if you're just as miserable in your relationship as hers. If you do have a girlfriend, she'll want to know every last detail about the nature of your relationship. If she's feeling brave, she may even ask whether you're sexually satisfied with your partner. If you say no, she'll ask why and then proceed to tell you how you'd be fully satisfied with her if she had the chance to be your girlfriend. She's now left the ball in your court and it's up to you what you choose to do with the information. She can't be around you without being in your face. When she speaks to you, she stands inches away from you. When she hovers around your desk, she stands directly behind your chair. She's always brushing past you. She wants to be as close to you as possible. Even though she wants to sleep with you, this woman has no intention of leaving her husband. She's just looking to have some fun. But the problem is, before she clarifies her intentions, she wants to ensure you're just as immoral as her. To test you, she'll ask direct questions such as, have you ever fancied a friend's or a relative's girlfriend? If you say yes, she'll ask, did you fantasize about having sex with her? If you say yes, she'll ask, do you think there's anything wrong with sleeping with a married woman if she's not happy in her marriage because her husband is incapable of satisfying her?